That guy just blew his cigarette smoke in my face as we were both standing at the traffic light. That kind of thing weighs on your mind when you are in the run-up to a marathon. I need healthy lungs, dude. This weather, I, I'm just not happy with it. And I know I'm trying not to complain too much, but I think also it makes you really, really, really appreciate spring and summer when it finally comes. And it just makes training really tough because you spend most of winter trying to figure out what to wear. And then when you figured it out, it's spring and summertime. And then I feel like I have amnesia and every year I have to relearn what to wear. It is the 4th of April and I'm heading to the Museum of the City of New York because I'm going to do some research there about the Martin Luther King exhibition that they have. I'm going to be using that for the rundown this week, which I'll be adding to the playlist later this week. This kind of weather is offensive. It, it spits in your face. So you don't know, you don't really need an umbrella, but you still get hit by it. <laughs> I do always appreciate when people ask, and people always say to you, oh, stay warm, stay dry, it's very sweet. But by now, you want to know that the, the, the cold weather is over because we have spent, and I know I have spent this, this winter running outside. And some people think, wow, you're crazy. Why do you run outside? But I can't run inside. There's something about running outside. And when you do it through all kinds of weather, it prepares you for whatever weather you may have on marathon day. I really love this staircase here in the Museum of the City of New York. I love all the quotes it has about New York. I guess New York is so special to me in so many ways, but also because it's so tied up to my love of running. Like I would never have found running, this love for running, if I'd never moved to New York. It just blows my mind sometimes when I think about it. I think about how I moved here with one dream and ended up finding another one. So I just came out of the MLK in New York City exhibition at the Museum of the City of New York. I love getting inspiration for running routes from uh, the things that are happening in New York. And so the rundown is something that I try and fit in in between doing other work. And luckily today hasn't been that much of a really busy day. So that's the thing, you know, I try and fit in the running where I can. and whatever the weather so the weather is really terrible and I, I wanted to do one of these videos yesterday but then I let the rain get to me I did run I should have just showed you that I ran because that is an important part of it all running on a treadmill no it just doesn't cut it for me I, I love running outside no matter what the weather even when I complain about how cold it is and what do we wear there's something about running outside that it kind of just prepares you for whatever you're going to find on marathon day. One of the biggest lessons that running a marathon, running marathons has taught me is that you got to be a no matter the weather kind of gal uh, or guy. <laughs> and so I, I love running. I mean, I, I say I love it, but you, know, you can also have sort of a love-hate relationship with it. I don't enjoy running in the cold. I'm more of a summer gal when it's boiling hot and I'm sweating and I can just put on a pair of shorts and go. I don't have to think about how many layers do I need? Do I need gloves? Is it that percentage below uh, the temperature where I actually start to need, uh, you know, th something around my ears? Or I have to wear a beanie? And it's just, it's one of those things that uh, plays with you. You really do have to figure out trial and error what works for you. So the weather does play a big part, but it's also part of making you a marathoner and making you a runner. Um, going with it, learning how to deal with it. If it's raining, if it's really hot, how does your body respond to that? What do you need? And figuring out what you need is, is just all part of marathon training as well. And so as much as I don't enjoy the cold and I'm just aching for the summer, I appreciate this last bit of uh, determination and stamina I think that this weather gives because no matter what happens on Marathon Monday whether it's a really hot day as it was last year very cold like it was the year before you know you know that if you've trained in different seasons you'll be ready and I'm sure I will be ready
<laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you keep keep coming back keep subscribing um these videos are a bit of a challenge for me something a little bit different i'm used to very much planning things out and producing them and overthinking them along the way but uh, i'm enjoying this part and uh, sharing a little bit of this behind the scenes with you so see you tomorrow bye what can New York, noisy, roaring, rumbling, tumbling, bustling, stormy, turbulent New York have to do with silence by the wonderful Walt Whitman? Amen, Walt. <laughs>